Hi everyone, it is time for another empties video and this time around you might see a few spoilers for Project Pants honestly because I have used up a few items in some cases just recently that are part of a Project Pan and that I could not show you yet. So for starters I once again have um, my cotton rounds. I'm not sure if I want to show them again because I use them up about once or two, um, every every month or every other month. And um, they're just pretty much always the same. I don't veer off the beaten path here. They're the same. <laughs> then I used up um, a body lotion. This was the Victoria's Secret Girls Night Florida Peony and Water Lily Nourishing Body Cream. And this was a travel size as far as I know. And I even cut this open, if you can see that. I don't want to open it completely. Um, because I enjoyed the scent and I did not want to waste any of the product. The next product I used up is my deodorant. This is the CD deodorant in uh, palm... is it pomegranate? I think it's pomegranate. I keep forgetting. In pomegranate I have repurchased a deodorant already, but it's not this one this time around. I wanted to try a different one because while this one does not have aluminum, this has um, alcohol as part of the ingredients and I would like to see if I can use a deodorant without alcohol. Then I used up my MAC blood powder pressed in the shade light. This is completely gone. It was part of a project pan and it's not cruelty free so I'm not too um, sad about this leaving my collection. Uh, the same, by the way, goes for the Victoria's Secret um, body lotion or body cream. Then I used up my Garnier Roll-On for my eyes. This was part of a project pan and um, actually I used this one up today. I didn't think it was, was um, going to be gone already because um, the last couple days when I thought there was nothing in it, um, there was a lot left. Now what I liked about this one was the roll-on since it's a metal ball. It really cooled and um, I think that was actually what um, helped my um, my eyes recover after a long night or even in the mornings in general and um, I'm not sure the product in here did anything. This is also part of a project PM and this is not cruelty free so another product out of my collection. Next I finished an OPI mini nail polish again, it's been a while. This was in French Quarter for your thoughts and was it? Yes it was. And this is a grey nail polish that was part of the Touring America, Colle America collection as far as I remember. It's a nice polish but uh, for me the color didn't work too well so I'm glad it's gone and also OPI is not cruelty free. Next I used up a facial toner. This was the Alberti um, toner with um, sea algae for normal and um, combination skin. This is actually cruelty free and vegan and I already have a new um, bottle of this going in my bathroom. I like this a lot. It is um, very refreshing in the morning and it smells very nice. Yeah, I can still smell it when I smell the bottle. It really smells nice and a little bit um, like um, algae. But um, all in all, this is a very nice fresh scent that I enjoy using in the morning. I also used up my Alberti face toner in um, the um, from the line with um, clay. Now I like this a lot however I do not use this in the mornings so that's why I have the um, algae one for it. This one really comes with clay and you have to shake it before you use it and um, when you apply this and when you pat it on your skin it feels as if you have, have tiny um, parts of um, sand maybe on your skin so I don't like using this before I apply my makeup, but I like what this does to my skin. It is not too drying. And um, while it does contain alcohol, I think... <clears throat> I think it does a nice job. This is supposed to help clear your skin and I think that is really what it does for me. So um, I already repurchased this one. Next up. I have um, a toothpaste, this was the Laverian toothpaste um, with Echin what is it? Echinacea and Propolis. This, um, it is cruelty free, I'm not sure if it is, um, if it's also uh, vegan. 
but um, the brand is um, very organic so um, you know what you get if you buy this brand and for me the problem is with um, cruelty free toothpastes, um, the ones that we can find here unfortunately just don't leave me f um, don't give me that fresh feeling in my mouth if you know what I mean this minty feel, I'm missing that a lot and I don't know if this is just something that uh, we've been conditioned to it, to expect after using toothpaste but um, I don't think I'll repurchase this anytime soon I have already repurchased a different toothpaste and um, we'll see about that one I may repurchase this honest, um, eventually if I don't find anything else because this did a nice job Then I used up my Alverdi Ultra Sensitive um, Face Cream. This is a very nice product. It is also cruelty free. I don't think this is vegan. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't have the packaging anymore. I think it comes in a, um, in a, bo in a box. So um, this is a very nice lotion that I use in the evenings to moisturize my face overnight. And um, it doesn't have a scent or anything. It's a very nice product. The next product I used up is my Sebamed Anti-Aging Eye Cream with Q10. I used this one up as part of a Project PN and I didn't think I was going to use it up this quickly. Um, but when I cut this open I dug out every little thing so there's nothing left in here. And I'm glad it's out of my collection because it's not cruelty free and I don't think it did too much for my skin. A product I am actually decluttering and this is the only decluttered the decluttering product I have in my box here is um, my Holika Holika Essential Putty BB Cream. Um, I'm decluttering this because I've had this for quite a while so I don't feel comfortable passing this on. But I tried um, I tried this and I wanted to see if it might work for me for Project PN. But it is way too dark for me. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. Then I used up a little well, luxe size perfume. This was the Christina Aguilera by Night perfume. And it had 0.33 fluid ounces in here and it lasted quite a bit. It's a nice scent, but um, as far as I know, it is not cruelty free. Another product I used up is my Manhattan Sweet and Tasty Lip Gloss in Caribbean Grapefruit. This was part of a Project Pan and um, it's not cruelty free, so I'm glad it's gone. What I really liked about this product though is that it both um, has a nice um, fruity scent and it also tastes fruity. Um, also this stained my lips a little bit so even after the lip gloss has vanished um, you have a little bit of a, of a tint on your lips and um, it's very nice. Now <laughs> we're almost done. I also used uh, my Dita Von Teese perfume. This um, I thought it would last longer, honestly, but um, I had used this up relatively soon after my last update for the Project PM. This is in, and I enjoyed this a lot. But I don't think this is cruelty free, or is it? If you know more, please let me know. All in all, I liked uh, not only the tassel here, but also the fact that this is an old-fashioned pumpy um, spray here. We're almost done. The next product is also a toothpaste that I um, actually bought for traveling last month in November. This was the um, Colgate uh, Max White One Optic. I just bought this because it was a small tube and it um, lasted me a little bit longer than our traveling. So um, I'm glad it's gone because it's not cruelty free. Then I um, used up my Balea Made Ultra Sensitive uh, Wash Gel. I like this product a lot because it is um, free of all the uh, bad products you really don't want in your facial products. It doesn't have any perfumes, any colors, um, no additives whatsoever. It's not very um, nice for people who have allergies, for example. And this is the product I use to take off my makeup. Um, I take my makeup off with an eye makeup remover with cotton pads um, quickly and then I use this one. Um, just once or twice and I use a small amount maybe um, I don't know I don't know how American money works um, maybe that much that much whatever is that big here there you go so that much and um, then I'm good to go so um, this really takes off my makeup and I like it a lot in fact um, 
I think you already saw my black up in my last, uh, one of my last videos. And then I have one product that I'm a bit at a loss with because um, it's not really empty, but it's my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I can't sharpen this anymore. I don't know what is going on, it just slides past the blade that's supposed to sharpen it. And I haven't found out any way to uh, make this um, work anymore, um, so I might just throw this out. I have one last hope for this, and that is that my dad can fi figure something out. If he can, I'll just throw it out because I have another NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk um, right in my collection. So um, I would be upset because I don't think it's supposed to be like that, that you can't sharpen it anymore. But if that's what's going on, oh well, too bad. So um, these are my empties for the month of December. Um, it's only the 30th, but I don't think I can use up any other product. Um, today or tomorrow, so um, we'll just uh, leave this as it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!